<coughs> okay. <coughs> Welcome to all uh, for the UPSC shorts. So, in the case of the topic of the news, very frequently or often seen in the news. Uh, reasons for the news. Many uh, global summits are not okay, with respect to Glasgow Summit, or the recent UNFCC Summit. Or the frequent summits are not used. Frequent use of terminology is irrecoverable carbon. If you read any reports or documents, the terminology is not used. You can be able to see this. So, in the key or a short video with respect to what is meant by irrecoverable, irrecoverable carbon and at the same time which are all the land spaces or uh, ecosystems having such a type of uh, carbon ecosystem so basics part first what is meant by irrecoverable carbon then other geographical distributions part in the particular topic order uh, purpose solver. Maybe they ask some questions relevant with irrecoverable carbon. Okay. So, we move on to the topic. Okay. So, we move on to the topic. So, that is the carbon sink. So, carbon sink is the carbon sink. So, So carbon sink of Dingra or concept of the Okay. So, carbon sink or concept of Dingra or concept the earth having certain natural ecosystems okay so like uh, uh, forest uh, peatlands uh, then uh, coral reefs uh, these are all the, have the capacity to absorb the carbon from the atmosphere okay so we are emitting a lot of uh, carbon dioxide and other uh, greenhouse gas emissions in our path okay so greenhouse gas emissions uh, natural away Observe on the capacities with respect to these land areas. Such areas are considered to be carbon sink areas. So at the same time, uh, those land areas also the capacity to release the carbon dioxide. So after the land masses circle, and the land masses carbon dioxide release on the capacities if you disturb that. Okay, so if you disturb any natural lands means natural ecosystem means. If you are disturbed the any soil pattern of that particular area means it will release some carbon emissions. So, okay, in the irrecoverable carbon of the concept of the objective with respect to global commitment very often seen or discussed in many of the forums. We have to attain net zero emission by 2050. 2050 kulla we have to uh, achieve the target of net zero emission of carbon dioxide by 2015. So, so in the 2015, we have to emit carbon dioxide carbon dioxide. So, so far from the, uh, since from the time period of uh, industrial revolution. So, we have to start the start of the start of the carbon dioxide emission circle. So, we have to pile up in the atmosphere pile up somewhere in the atmosphere. So, either you have to sink by means of uh, afforestation or you can have to go for some other technological development in the name of carbon sequestration technique. So, on the Mari aspects, further emissions we have to reduce. So, this is the objective. In the net zero emission by 2050, and the objective or ultimate goal is to reduce carbon dioxide, unwanted carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Other to an extent from by means of various uh, systems like afforestation mulama, illa through by means of any carbon sequestration technique mulama na maenna pani aapano we have to observe it and at the same time we have to preserve the land areas which are considered to be the major carbon sinkers. Okay, so apuri irka kodiya places na irrecoverable carbon abdi ingu solran. So irrecoverable carbon of the it's nothing but in the concept was emerged from the time period of 2020. So in the concept, there are certain places in the earth. Okay, certain places in the earth which has the capacity to store the lot of carbons in nature. Okay, so how the other sold rang of the patina kit that 15 years worth of fossil fuel emissions. Fossil fuel emissions for 15 years. So, we have to emit 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 for 15 years. So, 
So in the areas we preserve on the India, the ultimate objective of our global nations. So in the land areas, so in the capacities, vast number of carbon store on the capacities. If we touch on the more, when it got disturbed remains, then it is a result into one more number of carbon dioxide emissions into the earth. Other sort of 15 years worth of fossil fuel emissions in your under the kind of capacities. Ulla colder and the other Vachirka of Dino Patina, the particular land masses of Chirk. If in the particular land masses, then you disturb under Vachatla. Nimasolder only the net zero emission by two thousand fifty of Dingra, either Namana achieve one of Buddha. Okay, so upon the irrecoverable carbon of Dingra, once you emitted this carbon, you don't have the option to restore it or you don't have the option to sequestration of the, those carbons. So, through my means of anthropogenic activities. So, we have to do the aspects. We have to do the reasons. Conservation International Organization has done deep research. Then, other various institutions have done research. So, you have to do mapping through my means of machine learning, computing mechanism. They are mapping some of the areas. But if you have a question, you can ask one question. First, they may ask what is meant by irrecoverable carbon. And at the same time, what are all the aspects or in what things these land areas get disturbed through by means of land, direct land use change. Direct land use change is a virgin forest. If you destroy it, if you go for any commercial plantation, Okay, so for timber cultivation, that's why you are doing such a land, such a areas are considered to be a change of land use. And other than that, if you use that land for any agriculture and for any artificial aquaculture ecosystems, so natural ecosystems are created, artificial aquaculture ecosystems, one more thing you have to know. This is the reason I am here. In the land areas, disturb or other reasons. Another reason is climate change impact. So climate change impact already we are facing. That's why we are after for some resilience mechanism. Okay, so after this kind of condition, in the climate change impact, we have to see that frequent forest fires are happening. The recent one is California, then Australia, it is a potential ground for wildfires. Wildlife fires, last year, there is a frequent wildfires in Australia. So after climate change impact, even in Chattisgarh, then Uttarakhand is some of the places for got wildfires. Okay, so forest fires are there, or drought is there, or species shift. Species shift of being the usual way when it get warmer means it will move on to the upward side. Okay, illa or 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 land mass or or aquaculture land or no chhoda or sea or ocean or kya bina. The temperature difference ena wagu the rise agaranala the fishes are enter into the deep areas. Okay, so Rama Kila Poy Rada being it's a species shift. Apo Idala in our home dinner pathing na Idala reasons. Okay, so our soldier then expected for resource of mining and the oil industries. So either lamp under the Nala either disturb our kind of possibilities in the irrecoverable carbon disturb our kind of possibilities. Okay, so either stress pond run through from by means of stressing those things. Okay. Then areas of dinner park more where it is stored. So storing areas of Dino Varambori, irrecoverable carbon are stored in the mangroves, peatlands, old growth forest and marshes. Okay, some of the uh, areas which are considered to be uh, old for growth forest of Dino Varambori, Western Guards are on there. So Western Guards areas are considered to be an old growth forest. That's why Kasturi Karanangan Committee recommended that we should not disturb those areas. And marshes are there. Okay, so research scientists identified that there are 139 gigatons of carbon in some of the world major forest peatlands. Okay, but land masses like all of that, Irka, the 14 percentage, that Irka, land area. Irrecoverable carbon, all of stored on your the 14 percentage of land area, 75 percentage. In the 14 percentage of yet that land area, la 75 percentage of irrecoverable carbon and numbi, all of species Irka, more than 91 percentage of terrestrial vertebrate species. So it is considered to be very much important. That is, this is the place where we have to protect a lot. But the challenge is there are more commercial exploitation on those areas. Okay, so overall, okay, overall, places wise, location wise, Pakamodi Illa or parameter or geographical scale Pakamodi, Amazon the Yirkarle biggest carbon sink on earth. In terms of country wise, Pathamna, 
ஓகே இன் டர்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் இது வந்து ஜியோகிராபிக்கல் ஸ்கேல் பத்தி பார்த்தா அமேசான் தான் பிக்கஸ்ட் கார்பன் சிங் பட் கண்ட்ரி வைஸ் பார்த்தோம் அப்படின்னா ரஷ்யா தான் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஹோல்டு டுவெண்டி த்ரீ பர்சன்டேஜ் ஆஃப் டோட்டல் இர்ரெக்கவரபிள் கார்பன் அவுட் லைன் வேர்ல்ட் பிரேசில் இட் ஹோல்டு செகண்ட் லார்ஜஸ்ட் இர்ரெக்கவரபிள் கார்பன் ரிசோர்ஸ் தென் தேர்ட் இஸ் காங்கோ பேஸ் so we should know maybe they ask some questions relevant with these things so, okay we get confused very easily we get confused that definitely we will fix carbon in the uh, south america or amazon la you go bring number fix panivom so first adha nam place panivom adhanaana solra russia only hold 23% of total irrecoverable carbon outlay in the world second place goes to brazil third place is goes to congo basin then the most affected area which hold more number of irrecoverable carbon it's australia australia it is last or illa first or irukku in sense uh, uh, ranking wise paakumbod fifth sixth vandru but hot spot of for wild fire areas illa adha dhan first 2.5 percentage so maybe idha order panna solli questions varakana possibility so this is the map so which hold which are all the areas holding irrecoverable carbon in land masses the notable thing is india doesn't have such a places okay only china hold some of the places are there so china ku than there is india la and the local irrecoverable carbon hold pandra alok they are not mapped in such a way okay so idu with respect to uh, geographical space in sense mapping badi paatha maybe they ask some questions about it varapo solra the next thing is with respect to which are all the land masses having holding more number of irrecoverable carbon one thing 30% of the world irrecoverable carbon is in the spaces of tropical and subtropical forest okay then other share so boreal and temperate and tropical and subtropical peat so in the land masses oda uh, holdings um paathukenga maybe kekkaradana possibilities irukku okay or chinna recall poyirala so irrecoverable carbon abingiradhu the carbon spaces which if you disturbed means you cannot able to restore those places which are considered to be in vulnerable places where if that carbon get released in the atmosphere means you cannot able to recover those carbons are you your your uh, your objectives like afforestation or illa through by means of any carbon sequestration mechanism idla work aga appo already face pannirukka koodiya global warming and climate change are further get intensified okay if you disturbed these land masses so idu pandranga okay through by means of uh, reserved forest nama use pandra mari national park use pandra mari illa biodiversity ecosystems appo indha matter clear pandrom illaya adha mari indha indha places la nariya hold pandranga but at the same time these lands are also got disturbed adha prachana so concepts epa emerge agudhu 2020 la so idu edunala losses agudhu endra solranga through due to land use change agriculture and aquaculture mechanisms or climate change impacts are expected for the resources of mining and oil industries okay then other than that evlo hold panni vechirukku nu solranga places poratha alavukku so amazon the biggest carbon sink on the earth so or location or global mass atmosphere la patha but country wise patha russia da first brazil da second congo basin third adhiga disturb aagudhu podiya vulnerable places la australia first okay then other than that idella locations india la avlo dhoram point out pannala note it down okay the next thing is with respect to 30% of global world irrecoverable carbon hold panni vechirukiradhu enna tropical and subtropical forest so oru chinna topic tha but most expected question in for the prelims 2020 reasons idoda frequency tha idoda frequent number of occurrence number of occurrence nu varumbodhu very detailedly they are discussed in many of the times and most of the magazines cover these topics so they may ask questions relevant to with this make use of it okay so within this uh, that is you know in the class of wind up pandra so this is considered to be a upsc short okay so over 10 to 15 minutes a video panna mudiyum so from that we will hold this topic that is wind up this play, uh, particular class next over upsc short la idhe mari or romba most expected question na we discuss pannalam okay so thank you for all uh,